walking down the street one evening uh, with a couple friends of his who were uh, of a uh, darker skin tone. They were pulled over on a uh, uh, what I refer to as a racial profiling stop. I don't see any other way to refer to it. They weren't causing any trouble. They were minding their own business. Uh, none of these kids, to my knowledge, has ever harmed anyone or anyone's property. Uh, but still, they were accosted by uh, these law enforcement officers. And uh, they were uh, illegally searched. And uh, my brother happened to have an empty pipe on him. And uh, as a result of that, he ended up on probation. Uh, I don't know if you've ever gotten in trouble as a young person, but uh, you essentially have uh, zero rights. Uh, as opposed to the rest of us who have uh, next to zero rights. So this judge put him on probation, no trial, no, you know, nothing, no, uh, nothing that could be done about it, uh, in principle. And uh, uh, he, he was on probation, and one of the uh, requirements of his probation was that he was uh, supposed to be on house arrest. He was not allowed to leave the house without an adult. And uh, one day after school, happened to be uh, walking down the sidewalk for whatever reason, a uh, probation officer saw him, and so the judge had him locked up for what was uh, supposed to be a 90-day uh, period. Uh, about 30 days into this 90-day period, uh, we are informed that his 90 days counter hadn't actually started yet because of, quote, his bad attitude. Uh, evidently, in this uh, institution, they're required to uh, put their hands over their hearts and say, excuse me, sir, every time they walk past a guard. Uh, there are all kinds of formalities that they're required to engage in, uh, and if they uh, don't or they slack off on those uh, requirements uh, that's called a bad attitude and they just keep you however long they feel like. Uh, the most recent uh, incident uh, added uh, another 40 days to his time uh, because he traded a cookie to another prisoner. So he currently is uh, scheduled, if uh, nothing else goes amiss, uh, to be released on uh, April 13th. He went in the uh, middle of November, so it's been, uh, to do the math, uh, was that five months? Wait, no, it's, it's just insane, right? Guy, guy never did anything wrong, and he's just locked up for no good reason. And i uh, been hearing stories from other parents um, that have been wandering through there visiting their kids. A uh, guy doing a year and a half for skipping school. Um, just all kinds of stories like that. These kids are just being run through the uh, sausage grinder of uh, public school to prison. And it's really sick. Uh, there's a Facebook page, uh, Free Tanner. About 50 of his friends are on the site, so if you have any uh, tips, uh, uh, insights that you can give them to help them avoid ending up with the same fate, uh, that would be, uh, be good. Um, forgot one thing though. Uh, this is kind of the, the just a real kicker here and, and kind of brings it all all together and, and explains exactly what's going on. So my dad uh, got the uh, these forms from the uh, Department of Family Services uh, requesting uh, copies of all his financial information. The reason being uh, they want to determine how much to charge him for uh, the privilege of uh, my brother's incarceration. So it's just a total racket. They lock kids up, send you a bill, no incentive whatsoever to let them out. Hey kids, uh, this is Osborne here reporting live from Nashua, New Hampshire to bring in story here back to you in Defiance. We have a 420 protest here today. Got about, uh, what, 100 people here smoking marijuana in the park. Maybe you should think about doing that at home. Cause I'm gonna burn one down Cause I'm